A king has distributed all his rare jewels in three boxes. The first box contains one third of the rare jewels. Well, the second box contains k by 5 of the rare jewels for some positive integer value of k. The third box contains 66 rare jewels and so k by 5 of the rare jewels for some positive integer value of k. Third box contains 66 rare jewels, one third of the rare jewels. So the rare jewel, that number should be a multiple of 3. Second box contains k by 5 of the rare jewels for some positive integer value of k. It could be 1 fifth, 2 fifth, 3 fifth, 4 fifth, whatever that is. The third box contains 66 rare jewels. The total number of rare jewels should be a multiple of 3 and 5. Second box contains k by 5 of the rare jewels. 1 fifth or 2 fifth or 3 fifth, it doesn't matter. So, but we know that the number of rare jewels has to be a multiple of 5. It's also a multiple of 3. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say nice, interesting. Our man king has 15p rare jewels. Right? First is one third, 5p is sitting inside 1. Second one is either 3p or 6p or 9p. 1 by 5, 2 by 5 or 3 by 5. I don't have to worry about 4 by 5 because if it is 12p, this will add up to more than 15. Right? How many rare jewels does the king have? The third one. 66 rare jewels. Oopsie. The first box contains one third of the rare jewels. Second one contains k by 5 of the rare jewels. Not one fifth, but k by 5. One fifth or two fifth or three fifth or four fifth. But some positive integer value of k. Third box contains 66 rare jewels. And so out of 15p, three possibilities are there. 5 plus 3 is 8. This is 7p. 5 plus 6 is 11. This is 4p. 5 plus 9 is 14, this is p. 7 p, 4 p or p should be 66. 7 p cannot be 66, it's an integer. 4 p cannot be 66, it's an integer. p has to be 66 or he has 15 p originally. 15 p is equal to 15 into 66, just 990. Our man, the king, should have had 990 jewels to start with. One third goes here, three fifth goes here. The remaining one fifteenth goes there. That happened to be 66. Beautiful question. Hush.